Young Tibetans play at school recess on a bright April day. They wear the traditional clothing of a homeland they have never seen. This is Dharamsala, India. Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, came here in 1959 with tens of thousands of followers and set up a de facto exile capital. The clothes and a stepped up effort to speak Tibetan are part of White Wednesday. It mirrors a parallel movement of passive resistance in Tibetan areas under Chinese control. Lately, the children have also been learning about another kind of resistance by Tibetans who have chosen to set themselves on fire. In the past year, there have been at least 34 fatal self-immolations to protest Chinese policies. Teacher Dolma Nima faces the challenge of teaching children why someone would take such a drastic step. During our assembly, we show them the picture how the people have self-immolated. And when they see the pictures, they are uh, emotional. It changes all of the expression. Some children are asking, uh, oh, teacher, we have to do like this? Like <laughs> 27-year-old Jampa Yeshi became the first in this year's series of self-immolations to take his life on Indian soil. He ran through the streets of New Delhi ablaze on March 26th, just days before the scheduled arrival of Chinese President Hu Jintao. Activist posters plastered around Dharamsala celebrate him as a martyr. Tenzin Chukyi, General Secretary of the Tibetan Youth Congress, helps print the posters. I'm sure in the Western context, you know, these images are not allowed to be shown to kids at all. But here we are, you know, but this is the reality. School children were among the thousands who lined the recent funeral procession route of Jampil Yeshi through the streets of Dharamsala. There were people lined up, we expected that, but, and I knew like school kids will be also be lining up. But to see them, you know, um, with the flags and that was a very, very uh, emotional moment for me. The United States government funds a reception center in Dharamsala for Tibetans who flee persecution at home. This 24-year-old arrived about a month and a half ago. We will shield his identity so his family back home is not punished. He says Tibetans are discriminated out of the economic prosperity that Beijing says it is bringing to the region, but what motivated him to leave was cultural repression. I had a tiny picture of His Holiness the Dalai Lama around my neck. The Chinese soldiers ripped it off. They beat me first and asked questions later. Tibetan exiles see themselves as the inevitable winner of a historical contest of endurance against the Chinese Communist Party. But time is running out for the 76-year-old Dalai Lama to return home. If he dies without returning, it is an open question whether young Tibetans, in exile or at home, will manage to contain their anger. Kurt Asian, VOA News, Dharamsala, India.